Okay, I just noticed something. There's like another area up here with a bunch of trees in it that we haven't gone to. But what's going on over here? Wow, look at this place. Whoa. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to head back and uh, explore that wreck we found in the last episode. Uh, but I did need to come back to the base because I was completely out of water and food. Um, and also, we are 50% now of the way towards the insects stage. Uh, so I have some food and some extra water and a little bit of O2 with us. Um, also, we, let's see, we had the incubator unlock. Uh, so we'll, we'll mess with that when we get back from our exploration and also the beehive. I think that actually unlocked though in the last episode. However, uh, this requires a bee larva. My guess is that we'll be able to make the bee larva in the, the incubator. So we can't do anything with that quite yet. Okay, so this is just a normal meteor storm. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, so yeah, let's um, let's top off on food and water, and then we're gonna head back uh, to that wreck and uh, start the episode by uh, looting that. Okay, here we go. Oh, also, when I did come back, I. I flew by the uh, other side of the the meteorite canyon, and what I thought was a blue crate actually is another underground base. Um, I did not go inside of it because I was like really on the verge of not making it back in time <laughs> uh, before I ran out of food. But yeah, um, so we got a couple thingies here. Let's just poke our head in here real quick and take a quick look. Um, at uh, what's going on. Okay, so we have one chamber here. We have another chamber here. With some doors that we need to get through. Guess we have to take them all down. It's okay, it gives us iron. Hmm. This seems to be a pretty extensive place. Okay, let's go left first. That looks like a jetpack. Okay, we can't do anything with that stuff. Wow, this is quite the base. Good lord, this place is huge. Uh, okay, let's um, take that, that, and that. I'm going to leave those things. Sending message attempt number 86, 87, 89, 90, 91. This is from Iklos. Okay. Um, this place is enormous. Okay, yeah, let's take that and that. I think I'm going to leave the rest of that there for now. I'm being kind of selective by what we're going to take. Oh, and it even goes down further? Good gravy. Okay, um, let's stay on this level. I I didn't I had no idea this place was going to be this big. <laughs> Jeez. Um, okay, so that brings us back to a bunch of veggie tubes that we can't, uh, oh, I guess we can kind of scooch past them. Another room with a bunch of servers and uh, we'll take this. Let's put some iron back in there. How many days did I, s oh shit, hold on. I was not planning on being in there this long. Uh, how many days did I spend on this planet? I can't tell anymore. 
Does my family still remember me? I miss them so much. I miss everything that is not a red rock at this point. Is somebody waiting from me back home? Uh, yeah, waiting from me back home. I think that should be four. Uh, do I really have any chance of getting out of here? I'm doing my best to survive, and I'm getting better and better at it. Maybe some help will come. Maybe they will send a rescue team. There's no way nobody will be looking for us, looking for me. From our buddy Iklos. Okay. Um, I guess we'll turn these into circuit boards. And that is the end of the... Oh, no, that's not the end of the road. That was a wall we could take apart. Okay, we want the tree seed. A pressure multiplier. That's the first time we've seen that. Uh, we'll leave the rest of that there. I do have one more O2 bottle. Okay. So we came around that way. And this is... Right, okay, we've we've gone full circle. Um, here's the thing, though. There, there was another lower level... But, um, I... <clears throat> Shit. Okay. Let's do this. Let's build a... Now, we need to find some magnesium and some silicon. Let's build a hut so we can replenish our o oxygen. Again, this is a total sidetrack. <laughs> I was not expecting this to be such a big thing. Um, we need some silicon. There we go. And some more titanium. Inventory's full. All right, let's um, let's build this there, and then we need another titanium for the door. There. Okay. So at least we can replenish our O2 now. Um. We can find one more silicon and we can make ourselves a crafting station. I just love discovering all the new stuff in this game. It's, um, you know, the thing about games like this, or any game really, is you you can only play it through the first time once, you know what I mean? Um, and, you know, subsequent playthroughs are, are fun in different ways, but it's just that first experience where everything is new and everything is kind of a mystery and you have all the discovery that makes it just freaking amazing um okay so we've got food we got water and we have an extra o2 tank this is a huge underground bunker i think it's probably the largest one we've come across so far Let's put, uh, let's take one of those with us, both of those, but keep a couple waters here. In fact, three waters. Okay. Let's go back down. Um, okay, so let's go back this way. We're going to go right this time. And we came through here. I'm going to leave that all there for the moment. kind of glitch through here. There we go. And we need to find the... Okay, this goes down further. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, I'm going to grab that and that. I'm going to leave the rest for now. That's uh, another one of those effigy things, I guess. Unfortunately, we can't take the food growers apart. Okay, so let's see what he has to say. What if I stayed here forever? I've found enough ice to drink and my crops are getting bigger and bigger. I've successfully set up an energy source with a few solar panels and for now at least, I have finally a bit of comfort. Can I spend all my life by myself? Do you need company to live while I die alone? There's something really strange about this planet. I can't say what it is, but the more time I spend here, the more I want to stay. Nonsense. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool. Let's take the bean seed. I'm going to leave the rest of that for now. But this was his little living quarters. 
I'd have to say it would be kind of depressing to be all by yourself. Um, especially in a hole in the ground, you know? Okay, well, t you know what? We don't need that. We got tons of those. We will take the bean seed. We'll take the rocket and the rest of that we're going to leave. I'm, I'm being picky because... You know, I mean, we just have so much crap already. Yeah. We already read that. So this is just backtracking back the other direction. We couldn't pick any of that stuff up. Okay. And this is the way back out. Well, that was fun. All right, let's put the iron. Let's let's just put everything in here because we need room to do that new wreck. We'll take the bean seeds. We'll put keep this in here, and at some point, I will come back and grab this stuff. Soleus tree seed. Pressure mult. Oh shit! What's the matter? I'm thirsty. Uh, pressure multiplier is pretty cool too because that's the first time i think we've seen that golden effigy when it says right click to build what does that do exactly oh just means to put it down okay so uh, i take it that's just purely decoration stuff very good all right let's head on back to the new wreck which is right across the way almost directly across from where we are. There's another chest. Okay, we'll grab all that stuff. All right, let's put everything in there. We'll keep a water in a couple of O2s. We can wait a little bit longer before we eat, so whoops. See now I'm just used to pressing control click all the time. Alright, let's head on into this ship here and uh, see what there is to see. Nothing in there. Can't go back that way. Hmm. Why is there a ramp there if there's nothing there? Oh, maybe to get up to that. These look like guns. Okay, we'll take all that. Doesn't look like we can do anything with those. Larva. Ah. Okay, so it looks like we have to go up. Can we get down inside of here? Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to let me go down here. That sounds like a... Yep, it's another super alloy storm. That stuff comes down, man. It doesn't mess around. Okay, so... There's some heaters in here. But it doesn't appear like I can or am supposed to get in here. Because when I get right in this spot... Jeez, that's loud. Okay. Well, I guess we're not supposed to go that way. Why 
why are some of those blowing up in the air? It's like there's a a shield or something up there. Huh. I don't know, that's bizarre. That is a little bizarre. All right, let's put all this stuff in here. And we need to make a new... Oh, I guess we have room in this one. We have a couple extra waters there. Yeah, I, I'm not... I, honestly, I'm not even going to pick this stuff up right now. Um, I might... Uh, I might pick it up later off camera, but it takes such a long time to gather all that stuff and we have so much of it already. There's a larva up there. How am I supposed to get to that? <laughs> I don't think I am. Okay, so um, we went up here, but we can't seem to do anything more. So let's go back this way. And we'll walk across here. We went in there already. Let's jump over this way. Okay, we got a ramp coming down here. Those are like satellites. We should be able to disassemble this, right? Yeah. Can't disassemble those guns. A pressure multiplier fuse. All right, let's go up here. That just puts us in with more of the guns. Can't disassemble any of that. There's nothing in here. Oh, we can disassemble these. All right. A plants multiplier fuse. All right. Okay, we don't have room for anything else. Hydration's low. Jump up here. Uh, that's some good stuff, man. Um, why don't we put those in there, take this, this, all of the basic stuff we'll put in here. We don't really need to grab the bark. In fact, we don't really need any of the rest of that stuff. Except for... I'll take the cobalt to make some more O2. And I'll take the iron and leave all of the rest of that there. And I think, I think that's all we can do. Yeah, I'm going to leave all that in there for now. Looked over here. It's too bad we can't couldn't get in here to disassemble those heaters. Oh. Well, how about that? I didn't know you could take those apart. Okay. Um, we're not gonna have room. Let's actually make another chest here. All right, we're gonna need some, f let's uh, eat this food right now. And we'll put all of this stuff in here. We'll 
take the water. So we should be able to uh, disassemble this upper door also. Okay, good. But we can't disassemble those things. Alright, take all of that. And it looks like that's all we can do in here. Very nice. Alright, let's drop this stuff off. Okay, is there anything else that I missed that we could potentially deconstruct? Can't do that. Can't do that. I don't know why they won't let us deconstruct those satellites. You'd think that would give us some good stuff. Okay, let's go back up here for a minute. Yeah, none of that stuff is deconstructible. Why is it saying that? There's nothing inside there. Um, all right, let's go back up. Or no, not that way. Let's go that back this way. Guess we'll grab that. Okay, I, as far as I could tell, I think that's everything we can do in here. Okay. All right, well, that was a, a pretty decent haul of loot. Um... Let's make another chest. We got a shit ton of iridium rods out of that place. We don't have any more food on us, do we? Alright. Um. I really kind of should pick up all these these super alloys I'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna do a science experiment actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab all of the most valuable stuff out of here put that stuff in there Okay, yeah, leave all that there. Um, oh. Well, I got more food. Never mind. Okay, in that case, um... I think what we're gonna do... Is I can come and get all of this stuff off camera. But, I wanna see if... If we leave the area, if the super alloy disappears. Um, and so let's actually go back to 
plan A. Uh, we're going to grab all the highest, uh, most valuable stuff. We're going to take it back to the base, and then we're going to come back here. And I want to see if the super alloy is still around. If it isn't, we lose it, but then at least we know the deal for future reference. Yeah, let's grab all of those. Um, grab the osmium. Uh, grab that. Grab the larva. It's just hard hard to decide what's what's the most valuable stuff, right? Um, I guess we'll take we'll take the supers back that we currently have, also. And so we still have some room, so let's grab the bean seeds. Oh, no, we don't have room. Never mind. Uh, I am going to actually keep this food here, though. So we have three more spots. We'll grab beans. There. All right, so I'm going to head back to the base. Um, and then I'm going to come back here again. And we'll see if the super is still around. Because I don't know if it, like, disappears when we leave the area. Um, or what the deal is with it. Okay, that stuff can stay there. It's really dark. Um, is this the cave? Yeah, this is the cave. Okay. Okay, I just noticed something. There's a, like another area up here with a bunch of trees in it that we haven't gone to. Um, and there, there's also this cave here as well. I poked my head in there and there's more um, of that, you know, pink uh, quartz crystal stuff. But what's going on over here? Wow, look at this place. Whoa. Let's look at the map for a minute. Okay, so it's this, uh... It's this. Whatever this is. Hmm, I don't know if we should go down there. like we can get back out if we're going around this way. Huh. That's really strange. Good stuff, though. Okay. Um. Very interesting. Why don't we... Let's pop inside that cave, but I'm going to actually go back and replenish our air and drop this stuff off. Oh my goodness, there's so much good stuff here. Uh, we'll drop this load off at our little hut over here. So that way when we head back to the other place, we're, uh, we're empty.
Nice. Those mutagens, you know, just finding those alone is its actually really good. Stuff. <laughs> okay. We have one O2 and one water. I think what I'm going to do is... Let's make another O2. Because I'm not sure how deep that cave is or... You know, what's going to happen when we get in there. And we should be okay in the water for a while longer. That was the the first cave that I had spotted. That I was going to go to. And then we found this other one, which took us way over to that whole new area. And, uh, yeah, so let's see. Let's see where this one goes. I know it has some, some pulsar quartz in it. because I poked my head in here. What's this? Good stuff. Okay. Grab that. Okay, so it goes left and right. seems to go back in here. All right, so now it opens up into a cave with osmium. Osmium and sulfur, a rare larva. I'm gonna leave the sulfur for now. Wow, this is a long cave, man. I wonder if that goes goes back to the other branch that we were just at. Common larva. Okay. Now where are we at? Oh, this looks like the same biome. Is there something up here on this shelf? Oh yeah, this is the same biome we've, we've been in. It's just a different route to get out over there. Kind of close. All right. Um. Well, shoot, we're <laughs> we're completely loaded back up again. Uh, but the super alloy is still here. Okay, so that little science experiment at least tells us that you can leave the area, and uh, it'll still be there. I'll bet you though that if we were to log out and then back in, it probably would not still be there. Um, let's save the game. Again, this is for science. You guys know that I've got um absolute abundant amount of super alloy at this point, so if it does disappear, we lose out on this load of it, but at least we know. Okay, so I'm gonna log out and then come back in. Okay, so we're back in the game and it's gone. All right, that's what I figured would happen. And now we know for sure. 
So if we get a big um meteor storm uh, of of anything special, or probably even just the normal stuff, and you log out, it goes away. Um. What would happen though if we? No. Right. Okay. Um. All right. Let's see. These chests are completely loaded. Well, no. I guess they're not completely loaded. Let's look at our map here. What is that area? There does seem to be something over there. Let's zoom out. This was the... other area that we were at before, but now it's not showing the trees and stuff that were there. So I don't know why that's showing blank now. But there does seem to be something going on right here as well. But I'm not sure how we would get over there. Unless the other, the left a uh, passage in that cave led that way. Uh, which is a possibility. Let's eat a bean. Okay, I will come and grab all this stuff off camera and take it back. <clears throat> It's not actually that far to get back to the base either if we go through, you know, the, the first cave. Um, that area on the map is kind of, yeah, it could be that area up there, but I have no idea how we would get up there. Are there any more caves over, like, on this side that I missed? Yeah, there does not appear to be a way up there. Wait a second. My jetpack's not working. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. Oh. Alright, uh, well, there, there doesn't appear to be anything on that shelf there. Hmm. All right, let's go back and replant our O2. I'm going to go back in that cave that we just came out of. And this time we're going to go to the left and see where that passage goes. So I think it, we came through here. Yeah, there's the ice. Yeah, this is the way we came up through here. Hmm, I'm already kind of turned around here. That's a common larva. Well, I guess we'll grab it. Oh, 
what we might need to do is All right, you know what? I'm going to leave that pulsar crystal there for a second. Just kind of as a marker. It's really easy to get turned around in these places. Okay, so this is the way back out. Now, if we come back in... Looks like I turn my light on. And this time we want to kind of stay to the left. And there's where the pulsar crystal was. Okay, now we'll... Now we'll grab it. And this is new. We didn't go this way before. Uh, all right. I wonder if this is, this must be down. This must be down below where that we saw all that ice up above. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, see? Very interesting. Okay, well, we're going to have to wait for that to melt before we can do anything with it, obviously. Now we get back into the pink soup here. Um, all right. Let's see. I think we're going to... We have to take an O2 tank. And then I want to... That's an uncommon larva. I want to kind of decide what our next move is here. Okay, let's look at the map. The final area that we have not explored is this place all the way up to the northwest. And we haven't really thoroughly explored the canyons either. We did go down there. So I think for the rest of this episode, um, why don't we go check out the canyons and then we'll save this, this last area for a future episode, this area up here. And we also have, uh, right, yeah, this is where we just were. Um, We also have this spot here, which looks different again for some reason, I don't know. Uh, with all that ice that we'll explore at some point. And... Yeah, this map is kind of odd because... When we were looking at it before, there appeared to be a bunch of stuff over here, but it's not showing up now, so... Hmm, I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to take this stuff back to the base, and then I'll meet you guys over at the canyon... And we'll take a quick look see at it before we wrap things up. What in the heck is this? This was not here before. This was most definitely not here before. Wow. So it's like the roots are making their own pathway. Nice little shortcut for us, though. Even better than the other one. Can we get back over this way? We sure can. Oh, that's amazing. All right. Uh, that doesn't suck. There are trees over by the, the big ship over there. That's kind of cool. 
Let's make a stop over here and... Well, that's... That's weird. Didn't render in. I still have things over here I've I got to bring over too. None of that stuff's super important though. Okay, so here's the canyons. Um, let's go back to that fighter jet or whatever it is and read the message because it didn't seem to log it unless I just missed it. Private Scavenger, Letter of Mission Reconnaissance. An abnormal number of ships from various companies have, dis have disappear, disappeared in the Azishal Prime sector. Go there and find any information you can. Primary objective, investigate the sector. Find any reasons why some ships seem to vanish. Secondary objectives, find and report presence of any hostile life. Identify any crashed ships and report them to their respective corporations. Record the whereabouts of all merchandise found. Very interesting, um, and also interesting that uh, that was not logged in our in our thing. Um, there's a an uncommon larva. Common larva. That's a magnesium. Okay. Yeah, this definitely looks like a... How come I can't pick that thing up? Oh. It won't let me pick that up. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, It looks like a, a, like a fighter craft, you know, because it's pretty small compared to the other ships. this landing gear all right let's kind of let's go along the perimeter of the canyon first and then we'll check things out in the middle I've got two o2 bottles it's another one of those beanstalk vines Here's a blue crate. Plant multiplier fuse. And another cave. This is an iridium cave. There's a rod. Cool. Don't see anything else in here besides iridium, though. All right, let's keep cruising around the perimeter. That leads out to the Stargate. You know what we could do, actually? Let's just go out there and replenish our O2. Of course, it's, uh, well, yeah, I guess it's not that far away. Not to get to here, anyway. I believe I cleared all this stuff out. Um, you know what I'm actually going to do, though, is... Let's replace... Whoops. Uh, replace those with a big crate. Because I still need to go... And actually, yeah, let's just put all this stuff in here, too. I'm going to have so much shit to pick up all over this this map. <laughs> um, yeah, lots of stuff. Um, okay, so we're doing okay on food. We got two things of water. 
Um, I don't think we're going to go in there right now. Let's go back into the canyon and keep looking. Okay, so we, we covered the north side of the canyon. Now let's go take a look at the south side. Nope. I thought maybe that might be a cave, but it isn't. That's one of those 450 flowers. Nice stuff. Okay, this is the cave that goes back across the other way. It has the osmium in it. All right, so we've covered the perimeter. We'll go ahead and just grab that. Um, now let's go in between and see what there is to see. up here does not appear to be uh, I think that's it Did we miss this? Uh, we must have. I wouldn't have left that fuse in there. There's the iridium cave we were just in. Okay, I think we've probably, for the most part anyways, explored the canyon area. Here's another crate. I keep, that keeps look it keeps looking like this is a cave over here. But it isn't. Okay, we're out of O2, so we gotta scooch. Got to get out of here. Um, I want to just jump up here real quick. We're up just a little bit higher. And I'm not really spotting anything on t on top of those plateaus, and I don't know how we would get over there, anyways. All right, very cool. So, um, like I said, we have one last area to explore. And uh, we will do that in another episode. I think in the next episode, we will, um, do some more, you know, uh, advancement with a terraforming. We'll set up the incubator and start messing with that. And we should be uh, very close to the insect stage uh, by then, too. The last time I checked, I think we were... That is so weird. I think we were like 65% of the way there. And uh, so, yeah, it's not going to be too much longer. Especially... Um, I'd like to add some more um, algae generators in our lake by the waterfall just so we have the algae close to us. Uh, so I'll do that and um, maybe set up a couple more tree spreaders too. 
So very likely that when we start the next episode, we will be on the cusp of hitting the insect stage or maybe even into it. Uh, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.